Hello and welcome back to Star Wars The Old Republic with Nikki Backerl D'Angelo. Today we're going to jump into the third round of quests, the third quest area at our starting planet of Korriban as we're going through our Sith Trials. This one's going to get a little hectic. It might go a little long because from what I understand there's a bunch of side quests in this one and we're going to find that out very quickly. And it should put us at level 10 going into the temple of Ajunta Paul and it's, oh no, not Ajunta Paul, Tula Cord. Going to Tula Cord. Should put us in about level 10. Yeah, I think around level 10. Let's come in here and see what's happening. Oh, this time we got to walk right up. That's good. You better not be wasting my time, slave. You better have the holocron. Hmm. A fake. Or stolen from the library, probably. I'll deal with you later. He's such a shit. Now, I believe it's time for another demonstration. Gur, step forward. Yes, Overseer. Fon, kill him. With pleasure, Overseer. His name was Gur. Let Gur be an example to you. Fon destroyed him easily, like he will destroy all of you. Are there any other objections? You are only giving us power, Harkon. And your comments are only hastening your death, slave. Now the rest of you know the next trial. Go. I can't wait to you, kill him. Slave, stay here. Now, slave. You think yourself pretty clever getting that holocron, don't yes, you? Yes, I do. I really am the best. You are lucky Lord Zash finds you useful. Now, for your trial. The last, darkest secrets of Tulak Horde are buried in his tomb. Lord Zash wants this text. But the final resting place of the dead Lord is not easily trespassed. You will not be the first to die there. Yes, I get it already. <laughs> you send me into a tomb to do the impossible, hoping I die, and I come back and prove you wrong. Shut up, slave. <laughs> I've had about enough of your mockery. I just want to come piss back it here off. until you've gotten the text from Tulak Horde's tomb. I'm gonna stab out him of right my there. Sight, slave. All right, so we got a new belt. We got level ten. We got cuffs and a belt. Good. Let's get out of here and let's go do the multiple quests that we have to do in this building. Alright, so there's going to be two that I know of that we have to do right away. One is going to be the woman right... Ooh, I love that outfit. I absolutely love that outfit. Xerxes companion okay so we got her to do I have need of you young one whatever errand your master sent you on can wait until we are through as you say I am inquisitor Urinth, and I represent the intelligence operations of the Sith we are currently holding an important Jedi prisoner a spy who attempted to reach this Academy we have plans for him upon capture we found the Jedi's mind simple to manipulate we fed him false memories through a combination of drugs and sorcery. Soon <laughs> he will return to his Jedi commanders and report the lies we fed him. He will know nothing of what we've done. All that remains is to stage his escape. All right. How do you propose to do that? You are young enough, new enough to be a plausible traitor. You will go to the Jedi, talk to him. Do as he asks. Earn his trust. When that is done, set him free. Do whatever is necessary to get him out of prison. We will ensure that he reaches his ship and returns safely to his Jedi friends. Okay. How do I know you won't accuse me of treason? Prove your strength. Prove that you are truly Sith. And all the accusations in the world will mean nothing. You will find the Jedi Corian Dorges in the jail cells. He is still confused and should not be overly difficult to convince. So, in other words, she just told me you're on your own with that. 
She said, do this for me, but you got to prove you're strong enough to be Sith. But do this for me, you might get in trouble, and if you don't prove that you're strong enough to be Sith, you're going to be killed? I mean, am I getting this right? Kind so, of, right? Yet another acolyte stands in the shadow of our academy. You must consider yourself privileged. Tell me, you, who would be Sith? Have you seen much of our civilization so far? Have you been awed by this world's power and glory? Kind of. Indeed I have. Korriban is most inspiring, my lord. You find it so? Then you should understand something. Korriban was wrought by the true-blooded Sith millennia ago. Our ancestors, a crimson race of conquerors, That's him. raised the statues around us. Over the eons, however, our people mingled with slaves. Now the red markings of true Sith are rare, and the purity of this planet is in question. You're mingling with a former slave right now. Is that so? This is a sad day. But you may yet be useful. True purity and strength are carried in the blood. I worry that our blood is being diluted over generations. In the Emperor's name, I have come to learn whether the Academy's overseers are Sith or not. You will be my instrument. So he said he's doing it in the Emperor's name, so I'm going to listen to him because I don't need to start pissing off people that could snap their fingers and kill me. It is a glorious me. opportunity. I possess an ancient device, a holocron, that can read and record bloodlines. It will pulse with life near the Overseers. Allow the holocron to fulfill its purpose. Stand near the Overseers as it attunes to their blood purity. Then return here, and I will learn the truth. Alright. So we have two that we have to do, so we're going to go through here. Because I think we have to do like kind of a circle. So the first one is going to be this girl over here. Oh, we, she has a quest too. So we'll take her quest also. Like I said, this one's going to be a little Come here, lengthy child. because we have a bunch of side quests. To explore the academy, to know the world that gave birth to the Sith. You should linger here a while. Yeah, maybe I, I should. I am overseer Ragate, a keeper of the old ways. Ragate. I sense you have potential, and I can help you if you like. Everyone in the academy seems to sense my potential. But you have not yet come to my own. nose. You have power and strength in the Force, but you must be tested beyond the trials your masters have set for you. I administer the rite of blood and bone, a ritual performed beyond this doorway. It is a rite acolytes have participated in for 10,000 years. Blood and bone, huh? Sounds right up my alley. It pleases you. She's and getting a little bit in the chambers. Arrogant. The She's feeling there strong. Nothing's able to hurt her, her my yet. My winged razor talent children and their brood. They guard a mountain of skulls, an altar to the academy's failures. You must reach the bones before proceeding. All right, then what? And once I reach the bones, you must claim a skull from the mountain and return. A little bit of audio problems there, folks. Sorry about that. Stains. And possibly a glimpse of your future. Oh, interesting. I'll admit that does sound intriguing. To complete the right is to accept one's death. To steal one's own mortality and drown it in the fluid of life. That is the symbolic purpose. But it is also a trial of power. As are all Sith trials, a trial to test strength and to grant it. I will await you here. If you die, I will forget you. Well, that's horrible. So she's going to send me in there and then she tells me the one thing that nobody wants to hear. I'll be forgotten. In fact, I think that's the worst thing that you could do in some cultures, is tell them that when they die, they'll be forgotten. Is that like Viking culture also? They tear up the pages of your... of your accomplishments, if you're bad? So more bats, more bats, lots of bats.
lots of bats. We'll just kill as many as we can. Because, I, like I said, there's probably some kind of an achievement for killing the bats. Let him get close enough so when we do this, we still have an opportunity to take whatever he drops. Oh, the bat had swallowed a pair of pants. <laughs> I wonder where the rest of those pants are, like the person inside of them. Let him come up to us, like I said. Oh, Ooh, wait, wait, wait. What did you get? We have another, yet another companion gift, which is pretty cool because that'll give us a bunch of influence with our companion right off the bat. That's one. And here's the last one. We're going to get hit a little. Oh. Did we just get boots out of one? Wow. Lots of things. So we take one of these. And we walk back and we stand in that puddle of blood and click on the head. Okie doke. Big bat coming out. Oh, a cl a claw slug. We know how to kill these. Oh my god, this one's hard. This one is really hard. Alright. Alright, good. You're done. That hurt. That hurt a lot. And we got a and he had a rifle inside him. I just think that's rather whack that the bugs are eating things. Those are probably all from the people that they killed I before. Heard the screams of the Shyrax and the rippling of the blood pool. I heard the sounds of death. I know you brought the red stain scar, and I must say, I am pleased. I completed the right then. As so many Dark Lords have before you. The skull you carry, your rage, your actions drowned it with the dark side. It is part of you. I can read it. I can offer a small gift. But more than that, I can offer a glimpse of your destiny. She's going to read our As future. Much I can read in the bones. She is going to read our future. Tell me what you see. I want to know. Very well. Listen carefully. When your final trial comes, beware the Shadow Killer. It can be bound, but never controlled. The Shadow Killer. Okay. What's a Shadow Killer? That is all I see for certain. I can say no more. Prize what you have accomplished here. Well, thank you a lot, you I guess. You are a tradition almost as old as Coriban itself. And you have done well. Goodbye now, young Sith. This lesson is complete. I don't think she understands what the word complete means. I don't feel like this lesson is complete. I feel like she just gave us a warning. And we don't know what that warning means. So the next one is going to be up this way. Alright, I, I see it. But it's not really... Can I zoom out there it is I can zoom out so where is it it's over there it's over there okay so is it outside no it's over here okay that's good there we go everyone's doing the same quest pretty cool there's no emotion there's peace there is no ignorance. See, I like there this. I, I, I like this the code. The Jedi code will guide me. I take it you're the Jedi who was captured. I am Corian Dorjus. I'm a Jedi. Even here. Even on Korriban. Why do you care? Why are you here? I'm here to get you home. If you play your cards right. And I'm to trust you. The word of a Sith. I don't understand. 
You're here to help me. Why am I talking in circles? What's wrong with me? Okay, what are we going to say? Because... Oh, God. The Inquisitors are messing with your mind. I'm going to do this. They pumped you full of drugs. I suspected as much. And I'm thinking so that I'm trying to gain There's trust no with him. There's serenity. There's so no I'm going to tell him exactly what happened. The Jedi Code will guide me. But I, I don't have to give away too much. If you want to help me escape, I'll need my belongings, my lightsaber, my comlink. Before I was captured, if the Sith chased me into the tomb of Tulak Horde, I hid my belongings inside an urn to light of my Of course, Lord. because that's where that I'm going. That is where you'll need to go. Everything happens for a reason. All right, let's get out of here. And I think we have to go... Yeah, we definitely have to go check on somebody upstairs. Let's go upstairs. Whoa. Something just happened. That was wild. Okay. So, I think we did go up a level. We are level 10. So we do get my favorite... What dark secret shall I share with you? Crushing darkness. Recklessness. Unbreakable will. And we also have sprint now. Okay, so this I'm going to put over here. Crushing Darkness I'm going to put here. Unbreakable Will I'm going to put here. Okay. Some of these things will be changed around. But we should also have Sprint at this point. Yes, we do. And it is active, and we're all of a sudden running much faster. Alright, good. I'm happy about this. We're going to get force speed at some point, which will be awesome. Chain Lightning will be coming soon, too. Alright, so Lord Cestus. Ancient Greeks. We need to check you. I guess he's just overseeing their meditation. Great. And we can get right out of here. And now we can go towards Tula Cord. The tomb of Tulak Hoard. I'm pretty happy about this. Alright. We are missing a little bit better gear, but I think we get geared up. We get like a typical Sith gown. Our next time up, I believe. If I'm right, it, it's usually right at the end, maybe. Now, at the end, you get your lightsaber. Alright, so we have quest just to our left. Oh, we have to go check this guy. And then we have one more guy to scan. We can do that on the way out, but I'm going to stop, take a look at this specialty goods. So what the hell just happened? Specialty goods over here. Your money's always good here. I'm going to sell some junk, and I'm going to get rid of all this stuff for now. You make so much money now, you don't really have to work the GTN. <clears throat> there goes my voice again. I'm so sorry, folks. Going to be getting ready to go to our pool, but I want to finish this planet before I go. Alright. Alright, something to show you here. I have a feeling that it's going to be good. Right. There are codecs all around. I haven't seen one for a little bit. If you come here and you listen really, really... You start to hear that rush. And as you get closer, you hear it. It's right there. This one's going to give us plus two to endurance. So make sure you click on this one. So like I said, she's always searching for these datacrons to make herself stronger than her rivals. This is a way that she is going to beat Fawn. Fawn probably doesn't know about these things. He wasn't told stories of them by her mother, which she doesn't understand why her mother was telling her stories of these things. So that's the history of Mandalore. We can read all about that here. Alright. 
so that's that. This will give us the heroic events here. So if we come up here, we could quickly get the two hero heroics, which is the hate machine and armed and dangerous. I can take both of them right now and just complete them if I want to. Um, one of them we're going to get as soon as we walk in side anyway. So let's check out this guy. It's Lord Solace. Right here. Not bad. Okay. In fact, if we go into the hate machine and abandon it, we're actually going to get it as soon as we walk in that that cavern, that tomb. So we'll listen to what his statement is for getting that one. I don't think I've ever done defeat and search for Lord Sundar. So we just unlocked Come a codec closer, for here. Right. The wind outside has torn my ears to tatters, and my eyes grow strained and bloody in the dark. I've studied this tomb for years, slept on its stones, and dreamed of its depths. Now, I need assistance to solve its final mystery. Fast, and you are? If you have secrets to share, I would learn them. Then listen to me, and to my story. Listen close. This tomb is the final resting place of Tulak Horde. The tomb's maze was built to his precise specifications. But he built his maze to hold more than just his body. He built it to secure his greatest creation, his terrible machine, the Red Engine. A machine? Keep going. What Red Engine? The machine was his life's work. A perfect puzzle that hid all his secrets. It was a vault and a library all at once. The scholars in the academy, they say the Red Engine was never completed. They say it never functioned. But I know how it works. And I know how to fuel it. Okay. What do you mean, fuel it? Listen now. Anyone can activate the Red Engine, but unless it receives its sacrifice, it will only sputter and die. The machine needs blood and hatred to become fully operational. If a Sith could slay the tomb's beast in its presence, their deaths would be its fuel. Find the machine within the tomb. Work its mechanisms. And when at last it reveals Tulak Horde's secrets, I beg of you. Bring me its scripture. Bring me the knowledge I have dreamed of. I want to keep it for myself. All right, that's one. So we have quite a number of these extra quests in here. I really believe there was one in here too, but I'm not sure. Oh, there is. All right, let's get it. Those blasted mining droids were tougher than I thought. I'm not going to make it, but I hope... Whoever is watching this will honor me. Escaped slaves stole weapons from the academy. Fled into this tomb. They reprogrammed the mining droids. Without those droids, the slaves won't survive. Tried to take them down myself. Didn't work out. Destroy enough rogue droids, and the slaves will die. All right. Teach them not to cross the Sith. That's good. There was a slave uprising we have to go put down. All right, nothing in here. All right, they killed everything. That's essentially what they did. All right, so if we go one direction, we're out. This direction, I think, is where we want to go. And they'll be our first item to get. All right, so I want to kill this thing. So as a Jedi Knight on this first planet, you actually get a companion for your last quest. As a Jedi, oh sorry, as a Jedi Knight, as a Sith Warrior, you actually get Vet, and my favorite in the whole world, to do the last quest on this planet. 
But as an Inquisitor, you have to go and find your companion and fight him. And you have to get all the way through a tomb that everybody else that's playing a warrior is getting through with a companion. So it's a little bit harder. So I would say that it's a little bit harder to start a, Jedi, a Sith Inquisitor than it is a Sith Warrior. Alright, that's good. Nothing on this side, just wanted to see what was here. Alright, and then we gotta go up and out on the other side, right? Yep. Looks like all the mobs were killed by the numbers of people that are here. Looks like right now there's 80 people on Korriban. My guess is it's holiday in a lot of places. Sorry, I've been hanging out with my friends that are at Brits. It's uh, vacation time in a lot of places, and a lot of ones are on a staycation and they're playing the games. Oh my god. So we got enough stuff here. Let's come over here. Let's see if there's anything that we can get. We can sell everything. That's good. I don't need any health stims or anything like that. So this is just outright mauling everybody. Because you can. And we're going to get through this as quickly as we can. That was good. I think this is the one that we have to hit right there. You want to just shock them so you get them all nice and... There's two. Two droids. Just keep killing these things. Or the lookouts. We are level 11 all of a sudden. Which is pretty cool. We're going to come up here. Kill all of them. And I believe this is where the hate engine is. And this should be one that we could complete alone rather quickly. Alright, but you have to be ready for this one. First things first, we have all the buffs that we need. You have to be quick on this one. It's all timing. It's right, left, center. Okay? So right, left, center. So it's all timing. So you come here, you click on it, you're going to meditate for a moment. You're going to see the little thing go across on the bottom. So we're meditating. I'm going to get up my force, my lightning storm. And then as soon as it opens, I'm going to start blasting everything. Twice is all it takes. And then I'm immediately going to run to the other side, not worry about every, anything, have that open, and blast. Get everybody over there, knock him back, get him again, knock this guy, and now the hardest one. Come right down the center, knock it, and the queen is going to be a hard one to, to master here. So I'm already going to lose this one, so I'm going to, and it's all because of this guy in the background over there. Yeah, it's all because of that one in the background and because I did not put this here. I did not put this on my bar. Recall medical. We have five of those per character and that's it. And then you have to keep going back to the medical center. All right, so that was bad. Now, we don't have all those buffs. We gotta walk back and forth for a second. It's that last one that you gotta worry about. That guy in the background is gonna get you hurt every time. Now you can just skip past this. You can. And come back with your companion. But I don't suggest that. Again, just get this ready.
And you want it right there. And you want this right there. right there good they're, they're dead good just so you can move away from it crushing And you got it. See? That wasn't so hard. Now we're going to go and collect all of our ill-gotten booty. Yeah, I could have done that the first time, but I missed those two. I didn't have my lightning storm in the right place. So those two that were still locked inside that cavern were kicking my butt. Alright, got it. So with that down, the rest of this quest line is very, very, very easy. That was the hardest thing we had to do, but the good news is what that gave us was, we got to see, oh, it gave us an artifact and it gave us new gloves. So the artifact is going to, let's see what the artifact does. The artifact gives us plus 10 to endurance so we're, we can stand more damage plus three power that's awesome and then a 30 percent chance to grant 44 power for six seconds this effect can only occur once every 20 seconds and it will not trigger in pvp gotta like that so we've got to come over here all right shyrak shriekers Don't worry. So this is not the last quest, but I believe this is a nice area for everyone to be in. I would probably have my Force Lightning by now, and these guys would be just done. I think we go this way, don't we? No, we have to go this way. And here. Out was the other way. Okay, good. So this should be the first... Yes, it is. It's the first round of uh, reading tablets in this place. We already did one in the tunnel to get into the Tomb of Tula Cord. But we didn't do it inside the tomb itself. Tula Cord was the most powerful Sith ever in most respects. But we're going to find out that's not true as the storyline progresses. That there's actually one other that's stronger than what he was. I'm just going to keep killing things because I like to kill my Shyrax. Because they are part of a big achievement. So we get it. We got that tablet. And always look behind them. Sometimes there's a codex hidden behind things. Of course, they don't move places, so if I had just read where they were, I wouldn't be doing that. Alright, we're out of here. And you could kill that Shyrak. Alright, they're going into something. That's us. That's our way out. Okay. So we're out of here. We still have to find the Jedi's stuff so we can let him go. Can I just jump up over here? I can. Alright. Then I can kill this guy. Good. Cast Technologies leveled up. We leveled up our guild. That's good. If we get closer, we could actually do something better to this guy. 
which is just to... There we go. We got three of eight of those guys now. And this is where the Jedi stuff is. Looking at our map, trying to see where things are. All right, nothing's in it. All right. Nothing was in it. We got to go and find it. Um, looks like everybody's looking for their stuff. So they're killing a lot of people. There is a droid over there. All right, we got that. That reprogrammed guard droid needs to go. All right, we got five of eight of those guys already. Okay. Looks like we can kill these people. See if they have the Jedi stuff. The slave rebellion has got to fall on its knees, doesn't it? Oh, they had something. They had the digest. You have anything? And I think that's everything else. Okay, but I always like to kill the elites in every area because you get pretty good uh, stuff from it sometimes a lot of times it's just more money which actually is better considering that you could buy things on the galactic trade network all right so we did get something and it is yet another cultural artifact and I don't think that's gonna work for our guy but we have to go into this last area and get this last tablet. And then we have to kill a couple more or three more robots and we're done. All right, so let's go into the archives. Oh, we have droids in here. We can kill them in here. That's good. Okay, we might even level up to 12 here which normally getting to 10 on this planet is good all right so lots of renegade troops in here of course a renegade trooper would be a they're talking about classes that would be a republic so he needs to die anyway all right we got to go this wait why do we have to go that way Oh, that's where we have to kill that other guy, I guess. I'm not sure that's one I can do without my... We'll see. Remember. This is the last one of these tablets, right? Collect the archives tablet. Good. And then in here is where I was talking about there being a codex that you could click on. They're all dead. Another co an another one of those? Yeah, they we don't have a companion and they're giving us companion gifts like crazy. So this right here, I'm not sure how intense this is gonna be. We'll see when we go in. Oh wow. We're probably gonna die. I'm going to wait until I have my, uh, until I have Kim Val, and then I'm going to come back here. Well, if I pace myself, I might be able to do it. Are there three people shooting at me? Just need to walk back and forth a couple of times here. Looks like the Lord is up there. I 
That's the real guy I want to get. So let's make this guy whirl around like crazy. And then let's just worry about this guy. Alright, then we're gonna get this guy, of course. What did I get? Is it a, yet another cultural trophy? Look at that. If we get this guy up here... You're mind controlled. I just don't want to... I want to be able to... Let's walk back and forth for a second. We have a mind control trooper over there. We might be able to do this elite area because I know how to play just a little bit better, but I have a feeling that it's just going to be bad in the end. These guard droids are tough. Is there anybody else back here? No. Let's just take out this last guard droid, just in case he comes to life when we start fighting the bad guy. Alright. We got all that. And then we have this trooper over here. We're going to do this and then this. I wish I had my chain lightning for this. It would make it so much easier. There he goes. And then let's uh, walk back and forth a second. Get our health up. We're trying to do this as quickly as we can, as efficiently as we can. All right, so I'm going to go with this. closer so we can do that to him. Alright, that, that got him. Let's get these droids right here. Alright. Alright, that was helpful. And what if we just get these guys right on the edge? And then let them come to us. And then we get them as they get closer. I'm just going to push them out and shock them. Good. Yeah, we're, we're, we seem to be doing all right with this. I don't know if this is going to be good, but seem to be getting things nice and easy. I've never done this one, ever. I'm going to electrocute you. And then I'm going to get both of you. I'm going to click on this for now. And I'm going to just let my... Let my health come back up. There we go. We were close there. Let's gain some health back. She's walked into a hornet's nest now. She's probably feeling like, oh my god. What the hell am I doing in here? And why do I have to kill this guy? So what we're going to start off with is just this right here. Can we make him go away? Let's see if we can make him go away. That way we could have him come back a little bit later. And then we can just get our health back.
and then we can take him on. Alright, we got our health back. He's going to stop swinging around in a second. So we got them. And my idea for this is to start off with this, this, and then this. Oh, and he does. He does get shocked. And then we can hit him with some lightning. Again with a shock. And I think just... Oh, we did it. We got him. We got him. We got him. Did you see that? Oh, what did we get from it? We have a better robe. And do we have the same gloves? Same gloves. Oh boy, I just absolutely love that. Look at that robe we have. Look how gorgeous that is from the back. Let's get rid of this. I don't know what we do with the ring now, though. That's cool. Alright, I'm happy. That was a good... That was a good quest ending. We did it. We did it, we did it. So what do we have to do? Return... Return, return, return. Okay. So essentially, all we have to do is get out of here. We did both of the uh, heroics here. And there's one last thing that I didn't tell you about. There's one data crown left. And the data crown is actually outside. We still have one more robot to kill, but we could do that on the way out. It's probably going to be right in there. There we go. And we're probably a lot stronger than we were before now. Not only did we gain a level, but we got an amazing blue robe. And we're kind of like glowing from it, which is pretty awesome. Alright, so we have to go kill. No more things. But we have to go search for one last Datacron. That's not really going to improve anything. It's just going to give me a Datacron. And it's sitting right here. And this is, you've located a datacron of an ancient technology once used by the infinite in empire. The datacron contains a red matrix shard. Um, red matrix shard, once removed, you will no longer be able to access this datacron. Matrix shard collected. Good job. All right, that's not bad. Now we're going to just shoot this guy. Like I said, we're going to be much stronger now. Fawn is not going to be able to stop us now. We're just trying to get our way through here. Alright, good. And getting off this first planet is going to be very important. Very, very, very important. All right. I want to sell things. I want to repair what I have after I sell everything. Another one of those. That goes. That goes. That goes. And that will go. Wow. We're going to need... Oh, wait. We have 8,000. So if I just close this out and open this up, we can go for our next... This is for character. This is for legacy. Three hundred and ninety for your legacy, but character is just one, so that's fine. We got that. Not bad. Chamber of Tulakord. So we can get our buns out of here. Not bad. We did a bunch of stuff today, folks. We're going to close out some quests, leave the main quest to be dealt with on the next episode, which should uh, bring us to the end of our reign on this planet, or our adventures on this planet, I should say. Not bad. And we do have a little bit more space now 
10, 20, 30, we have 40. We have four more bars that we can buy. We have one that we already have purchased. We just have to wait. So nothing gets returned here. So we have to go see the red dude, then see the Jedi, then see Urine, then go upstairs, I'm sure. We have a couple of things we have to do here, and then we can end this episode. This one, like I said, was going to be a long one. It'll be the longest one yet. So Lord Urine doesn't want to, or Inquisitor Urine doesn't want to see Step a ship. Forward. I assume you've completed my task. Yes, my lord. I will take the holocron now. It is time we judge the purity of your overseer's blood. Time we know how much of the ancients survive in their veins. You only had me test four. I couldn't agree more. The holocron. It glows white. So little Sith blood in all of the academy. And only one of the overseers wears the red marks. This is shameful. I will bring this to the attention of the Dark Council. Measures must be taken if the true Sith are to survive. I don't like this guy. What's your plan? I'll advise purges and enslavement of those with the thinnest blood. And uplift the pure. It will be the Dark Council's decision. Alright, so this sounds very you have Aryan well. race too late for type to stuff. Your training. But in the future, perhaps acolytes will kneel at the feet of the pure-blooded. I don't know about that. Oh, we got our robe. Now we got our dress. And everything looks nice. A little dark out here, but nice. So we go this way. And then this way. Now he was over here. First door on the left after we make this turn. And there he is. I know you. We talked before. My head's clearer now, Sith. Now, I'm not going to give up anything. I'm going to be nice to him, but I'm not going to give up what's going on. It's all here. The comlink, my lightsaber, everything I hid. You're going through with it. With all this, I, once the guards change shifts, I think I can slip out of the academy. But what about you? Will you be okay? I'm going to be nice to him. I'll be fine. I'm more worried about you. That's very kind of you, Sith. I still don't understand why you're doing this, but I thank you. I'm doing it to set you up. If everything's settled, I'll be leaving. She's getting what a little say, darker Sith? now because thank she's got a lot of power, you know? I'm sorry the Empire took you in instead of the Jedi. If things had been different, maybe you could have been part of the Order. I want to spit on him for that? I don't know. Alright, so. We go back to Lord Yorin. Inquisitor Yorin. Yurich. Ultrich. Yurith. Yurin. So the Jedi is preparing his escape. You did well. Not perfectly. But I have confidence the operation will succeed. Our business is concluded. I like my robe. I will make note of your assistance in my report. My duty is my life. As it should be. Take these tokens as payment for your service. And know that no Jedi can threaten Korriban. Now go. Alright, so... That's it. I have one last one to do, which will be up here. Let's see how much cash we got in this one. Does it tell us? We have 4361. 40 up. Oh, not bad. Those boots are better. That pants isn't. So that'll go down here. Those boots are better. Good. We're getting charged up. I like it. All right, folks. Let's do this last quest turn in. And then let's say goodbye. So this is Inquisitor Jarobi. Ah, approach. I've heard rumors of your exploits in the tombs. You follow in the footsteps of failed apprentices. Ones sent to slay renegades and crack the shells of armored droids. You fared better. A lot better. That's it, exactly. The mining droids not only protected the slaves who subverted their program, but 
threaten to damage the tombs of the ancients. That would have been unforgivable. And for succeeding where others died, you will be rewarded. That's nice. Level 13. And then oh this God, guy is going to give us I resurgence. Something I was looking for. And nope, not speeder piloting yet. That's level 20. We can buy that at level 20 or we can unlock it with cartel coins, which we're not going to do. All right. That's where we're ending it, folks. Let's stand up here on the steps. Let's go to our typical shot. Let's see. What do we want the shot of? Let's get the shot of us looking this way. And that's what I have for you today, folks. Thank you very much for following along Mora's journey through the Sith Trials. And if you like this episode, please click the thumbs up button below. If you do subscribe, please be sure to check that notification icon so you get notified of all my future videos. And please, please, please do comment below. I want to know what you think that she should do when she leaves this planet. Should she still be conflicted? Should she go pure evil? Should she go to the light side? I like the conflicted part of it, that she takes each and every situation in check. She treats the ones that treat her badly, hardly. She treats the ones that treat her nicely and with, with respect amazingly well. But little by little, she starts to lose herself more and more to the dark side. But that doesn't mean that she won't choose some light side um, choose some light side dialogue selections from time to time. Folks, thank you very much. And with that said, you all be safe out there and I will talk to you soon.